Hi folks, and welcome to this video all about how to create superscript and subscript characters in Google Sheets. So let's just dive right in. And you can see some examples here on my screen. And the very first thing to tell you is that you can't create these natively with a button in Google Sheets from the menu up here. There's no way to create those the way you can in Excel, unfortunately. Now, if we go to Docs quickly, then we can do subscript or superscript. So I would just highlight the character I want, come up to Format, Text, and we'll do a subscript in this case. And there we go, it creates that subscript. So maybe you think, well, let's just copy this, come back to my sheet and copy it in. But unfortunately, even if you do a paste special or any sort of special paste, it won't bring that subscript or superscript formatting across. So we have to do something different. So the first thing you can do is simply just go out to the great wide web and copy a superscript or subscript character that you want from a site and then just paste it in. That's the simplest way. So I'd come here. This is actually my website. I have an article about subscript and superscript. And you can come here and you can feel free to just come and grab whichever superscript or subscript you want. So say we want the number four, we'll just copy that, come back into here and we might write X and then paste the number four. And there we go. So you can just come and copy the superscripts and then down here underneath somewhere are the other subscripts. Now I haven't got every single subscript and superscript character there. So a slightly more comprehensive list is this site here, symbol.cc, and you can actually say you wanted one of these Greek characters, for example, you can just highlight over it, copy, and then you would come back here and you would just then be able to add that subscript or superscript that way. Now there are other ways to do it as well. And the other way to do it is to use something called the char function, which converts a number into a character according to the Unicode table. So all of the subscript and superscript characters have an associated table number with them. And if we know that table number, then we can create these kinds of superscripts and subscripts in our strings, in our data here. So I happen to know that number two is the 178. That's sort of number two up there. So if we wanted to do an X squared, we could do X, which is just create the string X ampersand char 178. And there we go, X squared. Okay, so let's see just a slightly more complex example. We might want to do the Pythagoras theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared for the sides of a right angle triangle. So we'll say A and char 178. And we say ampersands, we join the string with these ampersands and we just build it up that way. So plus B, close that string, add the char 178. So there's my A squared plus B squared. Now I need the equals, so I'll ampersand to build more of my string. Spaces, the equals, and then the C, and then the final 178. So it's, if you look all the green here are the bits of the string. And then in between, I'm just using these ampersands to add in the different a squared plus b squared plus c squared sort of stuff. Now, of course, there are lots of these numbers. How on earth do we remember them or find them? Well, I'm going to unhide a sheet two here where I have a reference table of them all or the majority of the common ones. And so say, for example, you want the seven, you just grab eight, three, one, one or you want the subscript seven. So it might be footnote seven, footnote. And what we'll do is we'll say equals footnote seven char, and we'll just leave it blank. And then go and find out number seven was eight, three, two, seven. So eight, three, two, seven. And there you, go. you can see it adds that footnote seven for me, or that, that little number seven there at the bottom. And back here in here for 
wanted a funny character, you can see, sorry, when I hover over, you can see it's this HTML code number there, that's 767461. Each of them has a code 7512. So you can find them, look for the HTML code if you're finding these letters or these subscripts or superscripts online. That's how you know what those code numbers are to go inside this chart. So unfortunate that we don't have an actual dedicated format option for the subscript or the superscript, but we can get around it by either just copy and pasting like these examples or using the formulas like I showed you with this example here. Now, if you do this a lot, then there is one other method we can use to make our lives easier, and that is to create a named function that sort of remembers all of these fours, encapsulates all of these fours, so we don't have to keep going and looking up these values. And what you can do is actually just copy my named function from the template below to save you even having to create one. So open the link below, file, make a copy, so you've got your own copy, and then go data, named functions, import a function, and we'll do recent, and you'll probably see something called copy of superscript and subscript template. So let's insert this one, and you'll see the function sub and the function super. So let's copy both of those. And the button is right down at the bottom of my screen here, so we'll import. And this way now, instead of having to remember what the, all of the codes are, I can just simply type super. And the nice thing is, is for example, if I'm doing a chemical sort of compound type thing where I need to have, there's more than one subscript letter there or superscript letter, I could do C ampersand sub, six ampersand h ampersand sub 12 and i can just combine the two in one i don't have to have two separate i don't have to do a, a sub a subscript one and a subscript two i can do them all in one go with this formula ampersand um, sub six and there we go it just creates that for me with the formulas. So feel free to go and explore that named function. And if you really want to explore how it actually works, you can take a look at named functions, edit, and dive into to look at sort of what it's doing there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a future video and explain what's going on in here. Um, but for now you can just feel free to use them. And then the last thing we'll look at very quickly is in a new sheet. Let me copy in these numbers here for the copyright, the trademark, the registered trademark, and a service mark, because you might find yourself needing these. And we'll do char, and there we go. Let me make this bigger. You can go and create, oops, you can create these symbols easily as well with the char function. Of course, you can just also copy them. And by the way, if you want to use any of these, examples and you don't want to be these formulas anymore because you're worried about them breaking or somebody inadvertently modifying it. You can just control C to copy. And I'll just show you in the cell next is right click then paste special values only. And now look, it's actually just a text value. And that's how we can do it with these as well. If we want to, we can just paste special values only. And now you see it's just a text symbol. And of course we can use these as we did before. So char 169 ampersand open 2024 Ben Collins. And just build these formulas with the char function to get the special character and then any text we want between these quotes using the ampersand there if we want. So pretty easy to use these as well. Great, that will do for this video, folks. If it was helpful or you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and do subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.